afternoon everybody, this is Nel Carroco again and I'm still not feeling good. My voice is still not good. Yeah, I know. Okay, um, while I'm working with my FIFA football lighting design techniques using AJI32 in my Udemy course, I received an email or a message from one of my students and he asked me hello nelka i'm working on a project my client wants to use some brands but i can't find from your search brands website to use in dialogues what do you prefer for this situation for example how can i calculate tom dixon's luminaire in the room thank you and i asked erkan is this tom dixon uh, decorative fitting and then i checked it and then this is the Tom Dixon's fittings. Okay, so this is a big problem now because this is a decorative luminaire and uh, my instant answer for this one is this is bullshit. <laughs> no, don't say that. No, I mean, this is not, uh, this is not part of the calculation. I mean, if the photometric file for this fitting is available, then it's wow. But most of the time, if it's a decorative, it's not available. Most of the time, 99% of the decorative fittings, uh, the photometric files are not available. But of course, we should not lose hope. So what I did, I go to the Tom Dixon's website and I try to check <clears throat> if uh, they have the um, photometric file or maybe at least some technical details to use for lighting calculation. So for example, this is the one because uh, my student did not mention what type of Dixon, Tom Dixon fitting. So I just assumed this one. So I can see that there, there is a download tabs here, but it's just a, techni a technical specification. So when you open it, it shows that this melt small chandelier has four by six LED light and the color temperature is uh, 3000 Kelvin. Uh, yes, it's a Dima ball. The material is here. So this is similar. It's um, four by six LED watts. The lumen output is not mentioned. Anyways, even if the lumen output is available because of the decorative style of the fitting, it will block the light. And I don't know where the light is located. Maybe it's here or there. So we don't know. And most of the time with this kind of glass, I hope this, I think this is a glass. Metalized or metalized glass. Um, of course, it will block the light like maybe 60% of the lumen output of the LED lamp. So I do not suggest to run a calculation for this fitting because it's a decorative one. But if you persist and if you really want to show it to your client, there are ways, but that is not a precise calculation output. So, okay, let's go because there are some 3D files available for this fitting, I think. So when you go and search in the Tom Dixon's luminaire in Google. There are 3D luminaires here and there are available 3D files and most of them are, yes, you need to pay like 14 euro <laughs> or you can have, also you can have a subscription, subscription download for 2.75 euro. Um, even this one is uh, $10 if you can have the SketchUp files. And speaking of SketchUp, let's try and search for the SketchUp. And this is what I got. So there are some Tom Dixon's Luminary in 3D Warehouse SketchUp. And these are some of this. And it doesn't look good. But maybe you can use this one if this is the fitting that you are planning to use. Okay, just go and download it. And then use Pecan Planner to convert it. I already created a video on how to convert the 3D SketchUp file to that 3DS file. Go and check that one in my um, YouTube channel. Okay, so if this is the one, okay, you can use this one, but I am not sure it will not give you the same effect 
like what they have here in the picture okay so um the suggestion now is if you really want to pursue it go and get the 3ds file from these people you need to pay a little or you can use this one from 3d warehouse which is very ugly <laughs> don't otherwise you're just going to destroy the imagination of your client so yes and then once you get your 3ds file like for example you took it from here so there are 3d max sketchup archicad i go for sketchup or 3d max make sure it's that 3ds file or otherwise you you will need to convert convert it ah uh, here uh object file i uh, know that this is that obj so it's not also correct so you can have these 3d files and then convert it into that 3ds you can using pecan planner okay yeah so there is 3d max here so you can pay and you can just create uh four pieces of a six watt led lamp or led tube or led led a regular led maybe you can have this photometric file for an led strip to make it smaller and then put it inside of this um, decorative fitting use the same material and glass you can have a reflectance factor of maybe some percentage and the degree of transmittance of some percentage you just need to play it and then yeah and go and run it um but i'm such i'm i'm really not supporting this kind of lighting design calculations if it's a decorative fitting because uh, it's useless like it will only give a glow of light and it will not give you that much lux value on the floor or even on the table okay so always remember lighting design is an art and science it's more of art and technicalities so if you pursue with an art lighting design you don't need to calculate it you can photoshop it or you can do a power uh, presentation using a powerpoint um yeah because dec uh, decorative fittings um usually doesn't have photometric files okay if there is um very good like sometimes floss these are decorative luminaires floss brand but um, most of their fittings still doesn't have uh, photometric files some of the floss fittings has photometric files but most of them doesn't have because they're all decorative okay so yes that's it you can either go for it or don't go for it because it's it's not it's not uh, advisable to run a calculation for a decorative fitting but if you really want to show off to your client that you're a very good lighting designer or interior designer who is doing the lighting design yes go and get this 3ds file from these people who are creating the tom dixon's luminaire pay something and then add this led lamp inside and then run the calculation okay so if you really want to make me do the sample for this one i will check if i can create a video about this one okay so that's it for now i hope you learned something this is just my opinion if you're if you don't like to accept my opinion that is all okay as long as you have your own style of satisfying your clients requirements but in my experience it's no <laughs> most of the time no okay so that's it and see you again on the next video and of course don't forget to subscribe and enroll in my udemy courses because i'm creating new courses now yes because i'm almost done with other pending um pending and penalized courses before and I'm just waiting for you, Demi, to approve it again. And yes, so see you again and good luck.